All right, review. What's the definition of a population? Uh, the, the amount of people. The amount of, the, yeah. amount of the amount of people somewhere. I'll take it. A group of the same species, try to focus on that, living in the same place at the same time is your population, okay? And we're going to focus on populations. What happens if, let's say, the cla this class's population's needs are not met? What can happen to us? We die off. We could definitely die, which is not good, right? What else? Fight. We definitely can fight. What else? Let's say... Kill each other. Well, that's kind of fighting to the death, right? What else? We, 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 we do nothing. Good. We can adapt. So there could be a possibility that one of us in here has genes that are going to make us suitable to be able to survive this struggle and keep going. What else can we do? Uh, speed up the genes. Dip. Dip. <coughs> we can leave. Whoops. Well, we just left. Bro. We can migrate. So if the, let's say, let's say if you think of the class, what's a class resource? Chairs. chairs. We have 36 chairs, but there's 37 students scheduled in this class. One can leave. There are problems solved, right? Mm. Or every day you fight for the chair. Someone this is what we're getting at. All right, good. All right. So this is where you guys were yesterday. And I, I want you to, in your notes, put this slide before predation. Because predation, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> is a type of symbiosis. What's the definition of symbiosis? After you did your, your little research yesterday, what can you tell me symbiosis is? The class. Uh, the relationship how like, yeah, how like Good. It's definitely a relationship, but almost all organisms have some sort of relationship. What makes this one unique? They, they, they live together. They may, together. good. They live together, or they're in some place always together. So it's two or more organisms living closely together, and they form some kind of relationship. Don't always say it's a positive one, because it could be a negative one, or it could be a non-existing one, which is even weirder, but it happens. So the first example of symbiosis is predation. What do we know about predation? Uh, the predator kills the prey to benefit itself. The predator actively hunts another organism to benefit itself. I love that you said that. So the predator benefits from this relationship, and the prey gets eaten and dies, right? So not a benefit at all. Good. Correct. Mutualism. Awesome. Both organisms benefit. So today, because I'm giving you the responses and you have to work after, you cannot use any of my examples for your examples. If you've already submitted, you are fine. Good. Because honestly, pollination <laughs> is the best example of mutualism. I, already used that one. I said it's okay. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't use that one. I used the one. This, somebody mentioned this one yesterday or something like it. I don't even know what I used. All right. We know what that one is. Commensalism. I rarely cover this definition because it's hard to get it. One organism benefits, the other's indifferent. Um, shark and Remora. He mentioned that yesterday. Explain to me, shh, excuse me, explain to me this relationship as commensalism. Okay, so the, the fish would like go with the shark and they use it for like transportation or to eat food and stuff like that. So the so fish benefits by being with the shark, yeah. getting food and transportation, but then you said they benefit oh, no, each oh, other? No, so sorry. Okay, the, the, the so it's almost like the shark has no idea. I'm going to tell you what an epiphyte is. Have you ever seen a plant growing out of a tree? Yeah. Yeah. So who could explain that as commensalism? It's a weed. Go. So basically, um, the tree is like providing like food and everything, like providing shelter for the other plants, and it's not like the plant is not That's perfect. As long as you are able to say, this organism benefits and this one gets nothing, you describe the relationship, OK, as best you can. All right, parasitism. Somebody in the class, tell me about them. Uh, it's like a, a little, little itty bitty one, uh, like lives on or inside the host. Okay, host is a key word. Write that down because that's not even in my notes. And what does it do when it lives on the host? Uh, like it, it eats. like eats the nutrients and stuff out of the host. It literally feeds off the host. So the parasite benefits and the host gets harmed. So the difference between predator and prey and parasitism 
is the host. That's it. So that, that's definitely an important question because both relationships, one benefits, the other gets harmed. The difference is the parasite lives on the host. Give me examples of parasites, people. Lice. Lice. Leeches. Leeches. Tapeworm. Tape Tape Have you ever seen? Maybe we'll watch that. All right. Two more. Immensalism. I call this the selfish relationship, right? I'm going to harm you, but I'm not going to get anything out of it, which is just wild. Really? Oh, that's a good one. Wow, Car Carly, that's awesome. And terrible at the same time. Yes. Wow. See, sometimes you guys surprise me. You put that, so yeah. So this is a tree that secretes a chemical to harm its surrounding trees for no benefit at all. It's not because it wants space or food, it just does it. All right, what about neutralism? Who got that? I mean, the word kind of says it all. What is it? They just don't be beefing like that. Yeah. Yeah, they, just don't, they just don't beef. So they live together. <laughs> Sorry. You only had to do six, right? And neutralism is really hard to prove. So if you do, if you do not want to use that one, here's another one. This is another form of symbiosis because at the end of the day, organisms living closely together <laughs> is symbiosis, right? It, it, it usually involves two different species, so pay attention to what's going on here, but what is this? Competition. Competition, okay, good. So we have competition when? When do organisms compete? When uh, that's it. When they want food, water, shelter, even another, another organism, like a mate, they fight. There's two types, okay? Look at the pictures and tell me what's the difference between intra an interspecific competition. Um, Mason. That's like a group and then just one on one? Nope. So interspecific is like same species? Damn, bro. I was going to say that. So interspecific, same species. And look, in your notes, so you get this right on the test. A for intra, same. Er for different. Okay? Test taking strategy. If you can't remember the day of the test, put the same answer for both, get one wrong instead of two, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know that strategy. Okay. All right, that's where I stopped today. Oh no, I'm gonna stop here. All right, so this little chart is gonna narrow down every relationship with a positive, a plus sign, a negative sign, and a zero. So tell me if it's neutralism, what are my signs? Zero, oh, zero. zero. Okay, you get it now? Competition. One. Uh, negative plus. Plus, negative minus. So it's actually minus, minus. Because if you're competing, you have a limited resource, right? So you're both at a disadvantage. Obviously, someone mm -hmm. might be at a bigger advantage, but it's definitely a disadvantage for both. Commensalism. Um, plus, zero. plus, minus. Or zero, one. Or zero, plus. Plus, zero. Good job. One benefits. The other is indifferent. Mm. Immensalism. I'm forgetting what these are. Zero negative. Good job. Mutualism. Everybody should say it together. Plus plus. plus, plus. Good job. Predation. Negative plus. Negative plus. And you could add the word parasitism next to this because it's the same. If you could do this chart without looking, you have 75% of the test, well, okay, 50. 50% of the test ready. Okay, you have to know positive, negative, neutral.